What you doing now, Dave? Putting on LED tail light strips. Why are you doing that? So we have the smart car back here. A lot of people can't see our tail lights. So I'm going to put them up high so they can see them with red brake lights and amber turn signals. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This is the heavy-duty strip right here for the taillights. comes in multiple lengths. We decided on the 32-inch one for us. And we determined where we wanted it on the coach with the blue tape and we wanted it on a little bit of an angle to kind of match the the outline of the window and so there's a place where the cord or wire has to enter the coach to get to the tail lights and we determine that by again the blue tape and holding it up there and positioning it and so I drilled a little hole right there in the side of the coach so you can that's where my wire is going to penetrate. Right there. And then I'll come down here to the three different tail lights. Which one do you hook into? All of them. Oh, you got to hook to all three, huh? Well, you have running lights, turn signals, and brake lights. Ah, so you'd have to hook up to all three. Yeah. Are you doing any other lighting? Uh, yes, we are. We're putting in boogie lights under the awnings. Oh, so this is more for safety, and boogie lights are more for fun. For fun, yeah. Well, and outdoor lighting. And better lighting outside, because we had never had any awning lights at all. Right. All right, now I've also put another piece of tape next to it, because you have to take an alcohol swab that comes with it, comes with a packet, and clean the surface really good with alcohol. And then you let that dry for a few seconds, and then there's this primer. 3M primer 94. When you apply the primer, you want to use a microfiber cloth so it doesn't leave any any lint or anything behind. And wet it up a little bit. What's the primer do? It reacts with the uh, it reacts with the sticky tape on the back of the. 3M tape on the back here and gives it a good seal. Feeding the wire in to the point where I should be able to grab it with my hand. I already got all that in there, so I'll just push the rest in. So you don't want to peel all of it off at once. You can follow my, oh, you know what I got to do? I want to get rid of this piece of tape. Oh, you that just need that just, for the primer. Just for the primer. Now I want to follow as I'm sticking this. But you got to be just on the edge of it so when you pull off the tape, you're not leaving any behind behind. Right. <laughs> There it is. Installed. What you doing now, Neil? Well, it's funny that you ask. I'm actually drilling a hole in your wall so that that way we can have a skylight to the outside. Oh, <laughs> that's a peek hole to see who's who's uh, walking around the campground. It's a peep hole. <laughs> what we are doing is we are installing awning lights on the rig that never had awning lights, so we're having to get creative and run 12 volt power from a light switch inside the slide because we can't pull it from inside the coach where there's not a moving part because of the fact that the the awning light will be on the slide itself. So we're getting creative, we're pulling 12 volt power from a switch, we're going to run up the wall, fishing the wire up into the upper cabinet, putting the control box for the awning light here inside the upper cabinet. And then from here we will go out to behind the awning bar and we will then bring the wire in from the awning light through a hole behind that awning bar and then down the cabinet and make all the connections right here. So when we're done, you're going to have the best lights in town. Uh-huh. Awesome. Or in the park. 
So what's the name? Boogie Lights. Boogie Lights. Boogie what? Lights. We're putting in Boogie Lights. But um, what is, what's your information oh, Well, my information contact. is I am officially Nomad Neal. Uh, you can find me and all of the services that I do at nomadneal.com. Uh, my phone number is 727-359-1800. And what else do you do besides boogie lights? Well, I do solar for RVs and boats. I do boogie lights for just about anything that has power. And I also do protein fire suppression for all of the above. Kind of bummed that we're not putting the fancy colored lights underneath the RV, aren't you? I, I wish that you were. I know. They're, cool. um, They're so cool. Yes, those are called underglow. But that's okay. I know you'll get them eventually. And I did learn something new about them, is that they can keep little critters from coming into your unit. That is correct. They do indeed. Uh, critters, as far as mice, bugs, um, it deters any of the unwanted visitors. It might even keep Dave out. <laughs> Now I gotta determine which of these two are the stop lamps and which one's the running lamp. So I can hook the wires up accordingly. Red and blue go to red. So, you put Dave to work? This is, Karen put Dave to work. That's there you go. Karen put Dave to work. Hey Dave. How many beers is this worth? Oh god. What do you think? Let's see. It's not really a hot day out, so you got to count. Not, it's not yeah, hot, and, uh, so that cuts back on the number. I'm looking at a good solid 14 beers. Oh, good grief! Is that, is that is that one per hour for the length of the job? One per every 15 minutes. He goes every 15 minutes, if you believe it or not. I'm sorry, I, I underestimated you. Yeah. Put those two in one hole. Put these two. Three and another hole on the way go. You gotta cut the end of that off? Or? Yes, I am. Red, red, blue. Red, red, blue. And then red, red. Red, red. For the brake light. So I gotta put the black to the white. Correct. We'll strip that back a little bit. And we gotta cut these and strip them. So it's called a Wago? It's called a Wago, yep. You take from the boogie light, you want to take black lead goes to the white lead. The white leads on the boogie light or to the from the trailer. Then the yellow ball stay with the red and blue goes to you wrap those two together and you put them on the red circuit for the tail light. And then you got the green, which will go to the black from the boogie light green to the black one here. And it, well, it's gray, but it's black on this plug. The gray circuit. And then the yellow one will come down and tie into the red circuit on the turn indicator. So this is the first one you've done where you'll actually be able to see the lights Correct. when the awnings are in. Correct. You got it. Because you oh. can't always have your awnings out. Uh -oh. Sometimes it gets a little windy. But we have a cure for that too. The reason for the tape is to give us a straight edge. Alright. Make our own power. Now yeah. we're going to do a test. We're going to run the awning in and we're going to see if the green tape is still visible. First one he's done that didn't already have electrical power for lighting on a slide out. This never came with any to begin with. I'm just the reasonable wife wondering if you should test this one first before I rewire all that just to make sure all these work the way you want them to. But. What? That would kill my confidence. Oh. <laughs> well, tell you what. If you're wrong, five beers are being removed. Let's test them.
on drumming. We gotta wait for Carrie. I'm to ready. I'm. I'm a. You gotta go. Well, we'll see what y'all got up here. Got all the wiring done up here. And well, it's, then still gotta get attached, but we don't yeah. attach until we're sure it works. Yeah. And they tapped in down here. On the other side. It's controlled here. <coughs> Let's go outside and take a look. For all the marbles. Hey! All right. Now, are these going to be tapped in to work together? No, got to work them independent. They're independent. Yeah. So if we only want this light on over on this side, we can. Right. Can you turn the light on the other one? We we'll get remote controls. What? We'll come out here at night. What you want? And we also just went up to the little bump out. Van D slide out because you can't see the lights anyways. As we were talking about earlier having to raw power from a 12 volt source on the front awning or technically front side awning uh, we did the same thing we just tied into this 12 volt switch uh, and fortunately for us uh, this entire row of switches was behind the outside of the awning arm and so we came straight in the, through, the, through the coach wall behind the arm and then we mounted our uh, controller for the for the lights here. And then basically the same thing is what for you the, did? For number two. Yeah, I saw yep. you drilling holes and, yep, and everything, I, I and there it is. There's number two. Thanks, Neil. You're welcome. And here's the test. Need a purdy? Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.